Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make an automatic door. So I'm going to drag in a box from the BSB section and we're going to change the measurements. So X will be 20, Y will be 110, and Z will be 210. Drag this up and hit end on the keyboard. Now I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger just to make sure that our character can fit through it. So, the next thing we're going to do is change the brush type to subtractive and we're going to bring that back through the wall. And this will give us our doorway. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the context browser here, we'll open in starter content and the, we'll select the props folder and from the props folder we're going to select SM door, I'm just going to drag and drop that in. And you can see that it's too small so we're going to use a scale widget to fit the door frame. Now that that's done, we're going to drag in our door and we're going to have to do the same thing again with the scale. So hit the spacebar twice to bring up the scale widget. And we'll just scale it up once. Now just move that back. I'm just gonna delete this decal actor that's getting in the way. Okay, so now that our door is in, we're going to right click on the door and select Edit SM Door. And this is where we're going to add the collision. Okay, mine has a collision on it. Let's get rid of that. So, this is what your door should look like. You're going to go to Collision and from the drop down select Add Box Simplify Collision. So, this means our character can't walk through the door. Through the door. So, once we save that, we'll close. What we need to do now is add a box trigger, so we will go to basic, we'll scroll down and select box trigger and just drag that in. Now I'm going to use the scale widget to scale this up, but it needs to be fairly big so that the door opens before our character gets to it, so we're not face to face with the door before it opens. Should be big enough. I just make it a little taller. And I'll just bring it up instead. There we go. Okay, so now that that is done, we're going to add a matinee. So what we need to do is select the door. Not the door frame, the door. We're going to go to matinee. We're going to add matinee, and now this will be the matinee window. I'm going to drag this red triangle down to the two second mark because two seconds for the door to be the door to open should be long enough. And then we'll drag the green triangle out to the two second mark. So what we want to do now is we want to add an empty group. So to do this we're going to right click here with the door selected and add new empty group and we're going to call it door. Ok the door wasn't selected there. So just going to go back. Let's make sure the door is selected. Right click, add new entity group and call it door. Now that we have the camera symbol on it we know that it was 
selected when we added the empty group. So we're going to right click on the orange bar and we are going to add a new movement track. So what we're going to do is just make sure that the door is selected. Click on the door, we're going to rotate it. I'm going to open the door 110 degrees. So then I'm going to go back in here, I'll move my play scrubber to the two second mark and hit enter. Now that adds our keyframes. So if I bring this down, well I'll bring it to the side, and I scrub along that. second mark, open the door 110 degrees and hit enter again. Now I'm just going to hit file and save all and that will close the matinee window for us. So then the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to open a, our level blueprint and we're going to start adding the coding to make the door open and close. So I'm just going to let this um, save up and then we'll come back. So now that that's saved I'm going to open our blueprint and go to the level blueprint. Now when that opens this is the code that we are going to make. So I'm just going to delete that for a minute and start fresh. So what we need to do is select our box trigger. Didn't want to do that. Okay, so we'll select our box trigger. Then we're going to open our code Blueprint, right click, add event for trigger box under collision, begin overlap. Now that we have that, we will right click and add an end overlap. Then we need to go over here and select our matinee actor. And what you're going to do is right click and add reference to matinee actor. So now you're going to drag out from here, search for play, and it has to be under the cinematic heading and that's going to create a reference we're just going to select that and hit delete so we will drag from the matinee actor into the target we'll hit compile and now let's fix the error so that's fine that's that bit done and then what we need to do is right click down here and we're going to type in reverse and under cinematic we'll select that one now again we have our reference so we're just going to delete we'll collect our end overlap in here and then we'll drag the second point from the matinee actor into the target then we're just going to hit compile close this window we'll hit save and once that's saved we can play and our door will open and close as we move towards it just give this a second now. Okay, the saving is done. And we're going to right click, play. <laughs> now, as you can see, I can move around. But when I walk up to the door, it opens. And I can walk through it. And when we move away, it closes. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.